So, Mr. Ed here. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. So today I'm comparing my pistons, my stock one LS3 flat top, and my choice of a forged piston is this Weissco Overboard with valve release dip. I mean, dish piston, negative 11 cc's. <clears throat> so first, I'll start off with weight. Surprisingly, the forged piston actually weighs less, about. Uh, 15 grams less here I'll put it on the scale for you so this weighs in at about yeah 497 and the forged one 482 which they have it written down but I like to confirm I got trust issues <laughs> no I'm just kidding anyways next thing up is the wrist pins so initially when I got this forged piston, it came with a wrist pin. I thought nothing of it. You know, you look at it, you're like, oh, that's about right. It's just a bit shorter because the way this is set up. But I didn't notice it until I actually got them and really compared the two. And there's a taper towards the middle that grows thicker. So I did call the company that I got this from because I didn't get it directly from Wiseco. But they said that it was okay for the power levels that I'd be trying to reach to use these, which is all fine and dandy. But if you plan, or well, if I plan to make more power, more boost, and also for just peace of mind, I decided to reorder and get the thicker ones because these are 0.150 and these are the thicker ones. So they're just about the same thickness, if not a little bit more than the stock ones. Oh, and as far as in weight goes, they're also lighter. So this comes at about 145. And the first set I got with the skinnier wall thickness is 106. So this is 40 grams lighter than the stock one. But I, like I said, I went with a thicker one, which weighs in at, at 132 which is still 14 grams lighter. So we're already at 29 grams lighter with this forge piston and pin as opposed to the stock pin piston, which less weight is better, especially if it's a stronger counterpart. Okay, so moving on. More directly for the pistons themselves. Obviously the top is different. Let me turn this to the side. You can see that above that first ring position, this top of the crown is a lot thicker. And also the piston side skirts are a bit longer. Apart from that, one of the really interesting features that I thought was pretty cool, I guess mostly because I've never seen or known about this having oil holes for the oil to push back through from the oil uh, ring to push back through for that way uh, the wrist pin can get its lubrication and it also gets it through the mean of I guess the sides here I'm, I'm assuming it kind of directs the oil flow inside here to this dip right here where it it's provides a little channel for the oil to seep in through as opposed to the forged one I thought their approach was a bit more um, uh, interesting and also I expect it to be more efficient so we have three oil holes instead of two on both sides you can see but on top of that it actually has holes on the side two of them on each side and those holes are actually oil holes to direct the oil into the actual wrist pin housing so you can see right there I thought that was pretty cool so yeah, that, that about goes for the the piston. Also, that's that new coating. Obviously, this is worn. I think it has about 96,000 miles when I took these out. But yeah. Apart from that, um, that about does it for this video. I will be doing another one on my connecting rods and my crankshaft. Meanwhile, I get some more parts in. So I can eventually send everything to the machine shop. That way they can work their magic. 
and have all my stuff back here soon sooner can't wait to put this on um but you guys have if you have any questions or you want to leave a comment feel free to i'm sure we all can learn something from one another uh but if you're just along for the ride uh just subscribe like and follow me on my journey um so i'll be posting another video here soon stay tuned